less than a week to go before Valentine's Day, and if you are still looking for the love of your life, try using your intuition. Marissa Pell is an intuitive dating expert. She teaches others how to find the perfect soulmate. Marissa, thanks so much for joining us. And you say that when you use your tuition, you have more of an advantage in understanding whether this person is really meant for you. So how do we go about doing that? Well, everybody has intuitive abilities. The point is that they just don't listen to it. So we have to have you actually gauge your accuracy. And if you think back to situations that didn't really work out, you can usually backtrack and say, you know what, those subtle voices did speak to me within that first 10 seconds. And a year later, the same things that I knew back then come up now. So we have to really pay attention to that first 10 seconds. You have to. Now you have yes. some advice and I'd like to have our director put them up on the screen. So first impressions really do matter. Tell me why. They really do matter because most of us have many different subtle cues that we that we feel upon meeting someone usually when you meet someone for the first time you either have a good feeling or a bad feeling or you feel something in your body sometimes that actually happens with like a tightness in your chest you feel good you feel comfortable or you feel a little anxious you need to pay attention to those body cues as well as those little subtle mental cues saying you know I really should see this person again or I shouldn't you also say you need to learn how your intuition works yes and and how do you begin to do that well everybody has different ways that their intuition works. Some people are very visual. So if you really like movies or film, you're usually more of a, vi a visual person. If you love music, you're usually more of an auditory person. And if you're a sensor or a feeler, you have to pay attention to your body cues more. Uh, now, and that brings us into our, our yes. next bit of advice. And you said that you need to really hear what your body is telling you. That's so right. How do we hear that? How do we tune into that? Not so much here. That's where you have to tune into those mental thoughts. When your body is telling you something, if you're feeling really tight in your chest and you're sitting next to somebody and they're being very nice to you, but something just seems off, you really need to pay attention to those cues. And, and this goes whether it's you know a guy or girl, right? Guy or girl. Yeah, yeah they, it's they, not, they, not so much. Okay. Although women are receivers and men are senders. So you that's have, really important. That, that's really interesting. Yes. Okay, and then lightning bolts may signal red flags. That's your that's last right. bit of advice. What does that mean? So if I'm wildly crazy for him, right. I should maybe not pick. I should you, run. Well, not necessarily all the time, but you really need to be conscious, especially if you have the tendency to repeat a negative pattern over time. If you're dating the same guy or woman, but a different face, usually your biological symptoms are telling you something that isn't true. Right. So you well, have to pay attention to that. Well, you have the opportunity, actually, to learn more about Marisa. Marisa, thanks very much. You can mm -hmm. join Marisa on Friday night at 6 o'clock for an Intuit date. It's at Vitarelli's at the Pensacola Country Club. You can meet other signals, singles and also <laughs> learn how to use your intuition to meet that someone special just in time for Valentine's Day. If you are a guy, if you are a girl, if you are single, if you're looking for love, here's one way to be able to do it. For more information and to buy tickets, head to cbs3.com slash talkphilly. Marisa, thanks very much.